Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to Mystic Unicorn Tarot. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is just going to be a general love reading for you. Yes, please keep in mind that as a general reading, this is not going to resonate for everybody. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate for you at this time, but you feel like it might later, go ahead and stick a pin in it and come back to it whenever you feel guided to. Yes, this could be uh, the, the roles could be reversed here as you, as we have someone that could be cross watching for a Virgo. So keep that in mind. Also, this is an, a timeless reading. There are no time dates. There are no dates associated with this. This could resonate for you at any time in your life. Yes. As always, I recommend that everyone please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Smash that like button. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates for you. I love hearing from you guys, but also that helps me connect with you. So that could help me gain, pull in, pick up some more energies potentially for the next reading that may resonate for you even more or may resonate for you at all. Uh, also, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure that you get your notifications for when the next message comes out. Yeah? Okay, Virgo, let's get into this here. This is just going to be a general love reading. And I'm going to start with the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot, which is right here. And I'm going to give this three shuffles for you. Let's see what messages we have for Virgo at this time. This is one. What's going on for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, guys, for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you at this time. This is two. Especially if this reading is resonating for you now. Also, check the, uh, this is three. Check the description box. I do have a schedule here. So depending on whatever your sign is, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus, just come back on that day for your message. Yes? All right, Virgo, let's get into this. What love messages do we have? What's going on for Virgo in love right now? What's going on for Virgo in love right now? What love messages do we have for Virgo at this time? What love messages do we have for Virgo at this time? Okay, let's see. Ooh, Virgo, we have the two of swords. And you know what's funny? Um, I kind of felt like you didn't want to talk about it as I was pulling the cards. Nothing was coming out. You do have the sun at the bottom of the deck, though. Um, for some of you, for some of you, you could be, love could be kind of forcing itself on you in some way. Um, I feel like there's an energy here of the universe kind of trying to come in and get you to see something. Let's go a little bit further. Why this two of swords here for Virgo in love right now? Things may not actually be as bad as they seem. Also, Virgo, I feel like if you were to come out of this two of swords energy, you would see that things are not really as bad as they seem. Now you have the Page of Swords here. I get this feeling that you're just really fighting against something. And then you have the King of Pentacles. With the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, very interesting, Virgo, because... Um, let's stop here for a second. This is very interesting because I just did the Taurus reading for now. And um, first of all, the King of Pentacles does represent Taurus. Okay. It can represent you, Virgo, but the Kings represent the fixed signs uh, within whatever suit. And this would be Taurus. And I just did a message. I just did a reading for Taurus in which Taurus had an individual that they were either trying to make an offer to that they wanted to settle down with or someone that was trying to settle down with them. Um, but then the other person or the other side of the equation just wasn't having it. And it's funny, Virgo, you actually, either you have Taurus in your chart or um, you're a Tauran with Virgo in your chart, one of the two, or, uh, or, or what, Eric? I totally just lost that. Or this other person is of Taurus or you're the, or the other person is a Virgo, something like that. So you might want to watch that Taurus reading. But I get this feeling, Virgo, that there is someone here who's maybe even trying to get to know you with this Page of Swords, has some genuine love for you with the Ace of Cups, but you or the other person is not having it. Either you're not having it because you don't want to 
you don't want to get to know this person, you have some sort of aversion to this person. I'm hearing for some of you, this person disgusts me. I don't know about, I don't know what it would be about them that disgusts you. Um, but I will say, especially if you're, if this is connected to what we just talked about with Taurus, there was something about the person that was making the offer that triggered somebody else. Something about their sense of self or their personality. And the King of Pentacles can represent an individual that is very, very sure of themselves. That knows exactly who they are, exactly what it is that they want. Okay, they're very grounded. They're very rooted in themselves. And that could be part of what's triggering you about them. You really might want to watch this Taurus reading. Okay, because, because, oh, I just forgot what I was going to say about that. But yeah, there's some, there could be something that's very triggering here. Let's get, um, I want to get another, I want to get another line here. Three more cards for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo right now? Can we get a little bit more here, please, Spirit, for Virgo? Just three more cards. One more, please, Spirit. No? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Oh, shoot. Okay, Virgo. You really might want to watch that Taurus reading. Uh, here at the bottom of the deck, you're back to the sun. All right, Virgo. The, uh, mm, Virgo. Okay. Let's see here. Now, you really might want to watch that Taurus reading because now we have the tower here, and that's exactly what we had with Taurus. We have two other cards. You have Temperance, and you have the Hierophant in reverse. That's Taurus. There's Taurus right there. Officially, that's Taurus. You also have Sagittarius. You could have Taurus again or... No, I'm sorry. You could have Aries or Scorpio with the tower. Uh, but the Hierophant is in reverse. There may need to be compromise in this situation, Virgo. That's what I'm getting with uh, Temperance. Okay? If you really do... We'll say if you do value this situation, you do value this relationship, you do value this person, which, which for some of you, I think you do, that might be what that Two of Swords energy is, also coupled with the Page of Swords, someone may actually be closing themselves off to the other person that they may have been involved with for some time, they may have been dating, they may have had a some time to, to develop a relationship with. And now that this person recognizes that the situation is going deeper, is about to be taken to a next real serious step, both because of their intuition and also because of the actions or the ways that the other person in, the, in, the, in this situation is moving, they're starting to recognize that someone's trying to get real serious. Also, uh, whether this person is a Taurus or not, they're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Okay, so someone is ready to make a commitment. That's what I just heard. Someone is ready to make a commitment. Also because the King of Pentacles is a committed energy or is an individual or is an energy that is focused on or focused through commitment, is a commitment or, or oriented energy. And then you have the Hierophant, which represents like institutions like say marriage. Somebody actually might want to get married, but the other person doesn't want to get married. And with this tower energy here, someone might be finding out that the other person doesn't want to get married. I also feel like the more someone asserts themselves, the, uh, the, the more someone else closes themselves off. And like I was saying, you might have had a relationship with this individual or a relationship may have been building and developing over time. And the more someone recognizes that this is about to go to the next level or the potential is there, the more they start to close off. And now this other person here, the King of Pentacles, is stepping to you like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you, why all of a sudden are you closing off from me? Point blank period, whomever is in that Two of Swords energy doesn't want to get married. And that may be where the compromise needs to come in. If you guys can find a way to still allow this relationship to flourish by honoring what both of you want in a relationship, then you can do that. But this might be the moment where whomever is ready for a deeper commitment or marriage 
can be freed from or released from this situation so that they can find someone that wants to go to that level of commitment. That absolutely could be the tower moment that's happening here as well. And then temperance in the middle of that is representing finding the balance, whether that's compromising with each other or going your separate ways. Let's get some clarity here real quick. Uh, oh, they're saying five shuffles. All right, five shuffles, one. Two, three, four. Let's try that again. Four and five. All right, uh, what I wanna clarify, F, geez Louise. Okay, look, uh, marriage and or commitment is the central theme in this relationship or this reading, this circumstance, because look, at the bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. And what I'm getting from the Hierophant is literally someone saying, will you marry me? Or will you, asking, asking a very direct question along the lines of making a solid commitment in this relationship, taking this relationship to the next level. So why do we have the Two of Swords here for, for Virgo? Why is the Two of Swords here for Virgo? Take this one. Look at that. It's the Ten of Swords. All right, so for some of you, what I'm hearing is you just came out of a relationship. Or you just came out of a really tough, difficult situation. But what I did hear with the Ten of Swords was they just came out of a relationship. Okay. Ooh. Okay. At the bottom of the deck here, you do have the Queen of Cups. With that, you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Devil. So check it out. Someone is closed off. Two of Swords. Because the other person is making an offer to them. But the person that's closed off to this offer is still dealing with some toxic energies from the past some toxic elements from the past. Uh, this person may still be under the fearful influence of the devil energy from a past relationship, a past circumstance. And, unfor and what they're going to need to do is work through their... Im yeah, see, four of swords is underneath the queen. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, Virgo. Three of swords, now the four of swords and the queen of cups. And what I was going to say when I picked up with the queen of cups was that somebody needs some time and some space to work through, the, the, through these emotions first. So we could be talking about a situation right now in which somebody or, or this was a, a rebound. This was a rebound that that kind of took a turn. Why did I hear, why did I hear took a turn for the worst? I did hear took a turn for the worst, Virgo. And that might be your mindset, thinking that you had gotten into this rebound situation, intending for it to be a fling. Just, I, I just heard literally just a one night stand that kind of continued. And now it's taking a turn for the worst because now somebody's caught feelings and they want to commit. And you're like, whoa, hold the phone. That's never what I intended for here. And the universe is saying to you, welp, with the sun. Welp, that's what you got. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, let's talk about the, the Hierophant in reverse then. What's the Hierophant in reverse for, for, for Virgo? Nine of Cups. Comfort zone energy. Damn. Damn, 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 Virgo. Look at this. All right, Virgo, you really might want to watch that Taurus reading. Shit. And we're back to the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. All right, check it out, Virgo. You really, really, really might want to watch that Taurus reading. Either you have Taurus in your chart or the individual that you're dealing with is a Taurus and, or has Taurus in their chart somehow. Because you got the same cards here. You have the Nine of Cups, okay? But then you've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Wands in reverse was a focal point of the Taurus reading, 
okay? And then the nine of pentacles. So this person, whomever is closed off to this offer of commitment in their relationship is, is just not in alignment with it, okay? For whatever reason, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't want to dive into that. But this person is not in alignment with it. Point blank, period. Queen of Wands. Oh, you can't see that. Queen of Wands in reverse, all right? Not in alignment with it. Doesn't want it. Doesn't have the time for it. Doesn't have the patience for it. Wants nothing to do with it. They are, they are, they would rather be single, first of all. Nine of Pentacles. They're very happy being single. Nine of Cups. But it also feels like they've found, maybe I'll say it this way. They are, they're very happy in their negative space or in their misalignment to love, commitment, and relationships. I'm not trying to bash this person. I don't know what it is they went through in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and say, because I just hear it, you're wasting your time. If you, want, if you are trying to get a commitment out of this person, you are wasting your time because they don't want it. So now let's go back to the compromise aspect of it. Do you really want to work to find a compromise with someone that's literally just not in alignment with what it is you're looking for? Or do you want to cut your losses and be like, I right, cool, peace. If that's all we are, if I'm just a one night stand to you, if I'm just a side piece to you, this, that, and the third, or I'm just like a, a, a fuck buddy, like, cool, that's fine. I mean, it worked for a while. I want something more. So I'm going to go find that. There's a compromise right there. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I am sending you all so much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>